Chapman channel. We were on I-4 and did the breweries near me Google search and found Rock Pit Brewing in the south of downtown Orlando, Florida. And you know, we drove over, parking, not so great, but this is a neat place. What do you think? I think it's a really cool place. I think it's a really cool place. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You know, I, I, I have to, I have to uh, say something that's that's fascinating about it. to me as a professional who's near me Google searcher. I went to the website and this was the best brewery website I've ever seen. Well, right up front it says family welcome. Underneath that it said pets welcome. And, and there is today in fact they're having a uh, the owner's dog's birthday party. And, and that's going to kick off here in about 30 more minutes. So th this is a, a place where groups of friends come and gather. The, the atmosphere is fun. Hi, this is Mike and Rob again and Mike, we're not a brewery. We're not a brewery. We're someplace I would say is my wife's and mine, um, home away from home. It's <laughs> under a grove of trees. It's a got a number of craft beers available. It's just an unbelievable place to be and spend some time, even though it's not a brewery. Well, it's uh, Edna's on the Green in the Villages, Florida. Uh, we're here today because we went to two other downtown Orlando Breweries yesterday. We went to Persimmon Hollow in the heart of downtown across the street from Lake Eola. And then we went to Cyward, which is in the old Milk District, which is just on the east side of downtown and has a funny history to, to that area. We, uh, we weren't able to film there because the places were so busy and loud and, and uh, exciting. There was so much going on. We decided we'd be better off telling you about them in the quiet of Edna's. That sounds like a great idea, Rob. And I, unfortunately, one of the first things we have to talk about as Rock Pit is it absolutely does have a parking issue. It does. It does. They have, uh, uh, on their website, they have pretty detailed instructions of where and when you can park around Rock Pit, but it, it's a small place. It is a uh, neighborhood type environment, so I'm not sure that everybody drives there, but it was a, it was a terrific place and it's worth looking for some parking. It has a uh, relatively small outside area. It's dog friendly both inside and outside since they don't serve food there. <laughs> there is a place to eat right next door. Oh sure, Cecil's Barbecue, which uh, near and dear to my heart is Texas Barbecue. <laughs> so, but we left, uh, left Rock Pit and went to Persimmon Hollow uh, brewing, which is uh, across the street from Lake Eola in the heart of downtown, and uh, I, it is a more of a destination brewery, filled, filled with young people. Wouldn't you say, Mike? Absolutely, but that's location a lot. Persimmon Hollow is right on the edge of Lake Eola. If you know anything or have been to Orlando, you've probably even just watched the news, seen reference to Lake Eola. It's pretty much central Orlando. But it's a beautiful place to be. It's a great brewery. Um, it has food. It has food, and, and the um, <laughs> I shouldn't have said that quite that way. <laughs> <laughs> it has food. Now you know. Look, Mike, Mike and I are older, and everybody looks younger. But the crowd here was decidedly younger, as with the third brewery, uh, and the menus reflected the the uh, clientele that reflected the the uh, people that that frequent the place. Uh, the vegan options, uh, a lot of um, uh, lighter fare, not at all traditional pub fare. So it was a brewery first with a kitchen. I think both were, uh, but Persimmon Hollow had a, had a smaller menu. Good beer, smaller menu, lots of activity. Well, I think I'm gonna jump back to Rockport, Rock Pit again, because of the fact that it's such an incredibly friendly staff. Yes, they do. And the inside is actually very large with plenty of places to sit. And again, it's dog friendly inside as well. Well, that's right. Uh, uh, Persimmon Hollow has uh, uh, generous 
seating inside outside even though it's in a downtown area is larger than you would expect because they have seating out front all the way to the street and down the side uh, of the uh, next to the courtyard that was housing a, um, a festival of sorts yesterday with um, a lot of uh, vegan and uh, uh, vegetarian uh, dishes to sample from local restaurants. Which was that other brewery we went to? We went to Sideward, which was just east of downtown, only a few miles away. Sideward, one of the debates Mike and I have is, is this a brewery with food or is this a restaurant that has its own beer? And I think where we came out on Sideward was, it's a brewery. It's clearly a brewery with a kitchen and uh, uh, devoted to its neighborhood clientele. Not a destination place, but a neighborhood place. It was full and busy and very, very active. This, this one is the one that has a fairly limited inside area, but a really, really nice batch of tables on the outside. And again, very dog friendly. It is also, and that, in, in fairness, they we're in Orlando, we're downtown Orlando. We again would have a parking issue. Uh, parking's not gonna be easy there. Well, it, it's not, but but worth worth the effort. It's actually a little easier there than it was at Persimmon Hollow, but it uh, again worth the effort. The beer, lots of beer choices. Uh, the beer we found very very good, and uh, uh, we would encourage you to to give it a try if you're looking for a place to eat healthy food, have a few good beers in a neighborhood environment. Uh, it, it, it's a good choice. You know what, as we travel around though, we have to always wind up these different shows with talk, talking about designated drivers. Well, we do, because they're an important part. We have, uh, we have, although Mike and I are on the camera, one of our wives is manning the camera and the other one is the designated driver and we try to treat her very, very well. So, the other thing we're, I ask for you to do, if, uh, if you've liked these shows, if you think that you're getting something out of them, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you'll know when we post a new brewery show. Of course, you realize that one of the benefits of being the designated driver is you always get to pick the brewery. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> She's done a good job so far. She has done a great job. Yes. Well, we're going back to Orlando today. We're going to hit a few suburb, uh, suburban breweries and look forward to uh, sending in reports later. Ready, Mike? I think we're ready. Let's, let's go. Let's go.